Vamos! The second episode of Football Geography and today we are talking about Andorra. Little adorable Andorra. This micro country situated in Iberian Peninsula between France and Spain. This is their flag. It was inspired by French and Spanish flags according to the colors. The country is multinational. People speak Portuguese, Spanish, French in the majority and Catalan, which is the official language. So the country's name in several languages is... And now the linguistics. Andorra, 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 Andorra. And the capital is Andorra la Vella, Andorra la Vella, Andorra la Vella and Andorra la Vella. I know, I know, this is stupid, but there will be countries with different translations into other languages. And also some extra information. Andorra gained independence in 790. And now we are starting to talk about football. The Andorran Football Federation is governing football in Andorra. There are two divisions. Highest level is Primera Divisio, 8 clubs and Segunda Divisio with 10 clubs. There are not so many teams in Primera, so teams play three times with each other. Then the league splits in half and first four teams play two games against each other to determine the champion. Other four determine the relegated team. Last but one team plays against runners-up of the second division to see who deserves plays in Primera. They have an autumn spring system. The actual champion is Inter Club de Escalades and the most title owner is Santa Coloma with 13 titles who won 6 consecutive titles in last decade. The second place is Club Esportiu Principat from the capital with 3 titles. The actual Cup Copa Constitucio winner is Union Esportiva and Gordani. And the title record holder is Santa Coloma with 9 titles. The most title team in Super Cup and actual champion is Santa Coloma with 7 titles. And they even have derbies like El Classic Santa Coloma Santa Julia and Santa Coloma Derby FC Santa Coloma versus Unio Esportiva Santa Coloma. Also there is a club from the capital owned by Gerard Piquet but they play in Spain like Monaco in France. Just an interesting fact. For the Champions title they get placed in preliminary round in Champions League. That is the farthest stage from the final. Where also play champions from Northern Ireland, Kosovo. Wait, did I say it again? I will have problems with Serbians again. And San Marino. Cup winner and second and third place in the league are getting a place in preliminary round in Europa League. The national team of Andorra won only six games in their history. I'm not sure, but stats are saying like that. Today they will have a chance to have one more win against Latvia in Nations League. Their first game was against Estonia in 1996 when they blew up 1-6. The biggest win was against Belarus, Albania. You can check out a video about Albania here. And against San Marino. Each 2-0. And the biggest defeat is against Czech Republic 8-1. And also that isn't a surprise that they have never participated in any major national tournaments. Except the Nations League, but every country has a place there. At home they play in Estadi Nacional with 3,306 capacity, which is also the biggest stadium in the country. Ildefons Lima is Andorra's most kept player and the all-time top goal scorer. Also want to mention this guy who scored a brace, a brace, a brace against Albania. Again, check out the video about Albania, link in the description below. But after this video, the name of the hero is Christian Martinez. I know, that sounds pathetic, a brace, but for Andorra and country like that, that is incredible. And these players are also one of the most popular players in the country. There are not so many stars because Andorrans play in Andorra and low leagues of Spain, Norway and United States. Also, there are no Andorran player in FIFA Mobile. But if you are interested in that mobile game, you can check out uh, this video when I created Full Man City Season 2021 with Messi. In conclusion, I want to say that it is great that such micro state at least has a football league system with even two leagues, while small 
middle or big countries celebrate only wins, this country celebrates goals. So what about wins? I think after a win, they have a non-working week in the whole country. If you enjoyed this video, then do simple things, which is entire for you, but very important for me. Punch that like button, subscribe to get notice for the next video, because next is Armenia, Hayastan. And also check out the playlist of this rubric. See you next time. Adios.